For these five entrepreneur teams, it started with a dream to launch a business. After a year of research, presentation, development, and mentorship, their dream may become a reality. Today, they'll have five minutes to pitch their business plan to a panel of experts ready to invest in their futures. From the Fairfield University Charles F. Dolan School of Business, this is Fairfield Startup. I'm very passionate about fitness. I work out every single day at 5 a.m. I'm the first one in the rec plex. Sometimes the lights aren't even on in the gym when I get there. And it's nuts. Sometimes I see other people doing wrong form. With this app, I'm trying to make it fun for new people because it's a healthy thing to do. And I'm trying to make people more efficient at working out by improving their total muscle gain and basically reducing their chance for injury. With the straps, you pop in the XN sensor. You want to put one on your wrist slash forearm, one on your upper arm. And basically, these will help reduce your 3D model because they judge all the movements that you do when you're working out. And then I'm working with the bioengineering club to implement a muscle sensor so you know exactly what's working and what isn't. I have never worked this hard. All-nighters, half-nighters. There's not a time that I am not working. It's absolutely crazy, but I love it. Senior Winston Demartini has had Fairfield startup aspirations since freshman year. Today, he'll present his business hustling to the Startup Investor Panel. Hello, everybody. I'm Winston Demartini, and I would like to introduce you to Hustlin, a company that is going to revolutionize the physical therapy and fitness industry. Our opportunity with physical therapists is that it takes a while for a patient to fully recover from an injury due to the lack of data and guesswork. Our opportunity with the patient is that when they work out at home, they tend to do workouts incorrectly or skip them, which increases their risk for injury. Our solution for physical therapists is to give them the data that they could never get before, which allows them to decrease the recovery time of patients. This allows them to heal patients faster, better, and more effectively. This gives them more time to take on more patients and expand their client base. For the patient, they will heal much faster and stronger than ever before and be able to get back to their day-to-day -day life faster. This is our product. On the left side, you can see our smart shirt with two types of embedded sensors in it. In the middle of the screen on the right side, you can see our 3D sensors, which are orange. And on the left side, you can see our muscle sensors, which are white. Sensors are also embedded into physiotherapy equipment, such as weights, to help gain more accurate data. And on the right side, you can see the UI for our app. How we work. The two sensors in the shirt gather the data while you work out, and it sends all this information to your phone. The data is then sent to our cloud where the 3D model is created and sent back to your phone in real time, so you can see your form and statistics as you work out. Our database will make it easy and convenient for us to sort and search through the data. Some applications for this data include creating and advancing our AI code, selling this data to insurance companies, marketing companies, physical therapists, and others. So here's a live demo of me actually doing bicep curls. This is all real time data capture of my arm movements, the forces of my arm and the biomedical data of my arm. This is all real live data. This is our UI UX for our patient side of the app. All of this was built and tested by our physical therapist we've been working with. The home screen allows easy access to your therapist's workouts, goals, and messages. The 3D model page gives the user easy access to the 3D model and important statistics that their physical therapist is looking for. Additionally, if the user is doing something wrong, it is highlighted with red or yellow on the time bar of their 3D model. Our intelligent AI system will alert the patient if it notices that you are doing something wrong and it will show you how to do it correctly. It will also send you active reminders to help you remember to do your PT. The third page is our analyze page where you will be able to see the data that was collected so you can get an in-depth analysis of your workout. Here you can see our UI UX for the physical therapists. On the left side of the page is our sign-in page. And once the physical therapist is chosen, the first thing you can see is a list of your clients. The first people that are lit up in orange have either done something wrong in their workout, didn't complete it, or haven't done it at all. 
The rest of the clients after that in gray have all done their workouts properly and on time. So now if we click on the first patient, for example, that brings them to their executive summary page. This page is meant to be read in under 30 seconds or less, which highlights whatever the patient did wrong on their 3D model, their muscle statistics, any messages that the patient had for the PT, and any injuries that the patient had during their workout will all show up on this page in an extremely easy to read format. On the far right is our 2D model, where the patient, patient can select where the pain hurts, how much it hurts, and describe the pain to the PT. This will greatly help the PT accurately assess what pain they are having and the cause of the pain because they will be able to go back into the data and see their muscular data and 3D image. Here's an infographic of our competitor analysis. Our main competitor is Reflection Health, who uses an expensive RGB infrared camera and TV setup to read your form of your workout and let the PT know if you're doing the exercises correctly. The differentiation factor that makes us unique is that we give therapists more data through active muscle sensors and a smart AI system, which allows patients to recover faster, stronger, all while being in a shirt that you simply just slip on, which makes it much more convenient and portable as well as user friendly. Our market for physiotherapy equipment is 18.6 billion and in 2026 it is set to increase to 32.7 billion. This is our team. I'm a marketing and management major here at Fairfield, as well as a professional UI UX designer. My advisors consist of three science advisors and three business advisors. And my lead software developer, Spencer Letizza, is a junior here at Fairfield, and he is currently coding my app. We need funding to assemble a team build and test a prototype, gather market intelligence, and to increase traction. In addition, we applied for a research grant from CT Next, and we are applying to UConn and Yale University, as well as others. Reflection was recently awarded an eight-figure grant from the CDC, so there's evidence here that we're in a sweet spot. Thank you all for your time, and welcome any feedback. With the presentation complete, it's time for the Startup Investor Panel Discussion. Winston has a chance to convince the panelists that Hustlin' has what it takes to succeed as a startup. Winston, uh, my name is Michael. I'm uh, thrilled to have you here. I'm with Joe and Marianne, and we've watched your uh, video multiple times. Just watched it again just now. Very impressed with what you've done, and we've got a couple of questions for you. We don't have a ton of time, but we want to make sure that we ask some of the uh, questions we have on a macro level. And... We invite you to communicate with us after the fact as well. So, Joe, do you want to kick this one off? And uh, you got a few questions asked? Yeah. Uh, a couple of points, Winston, that I'd like you to address. First of all, I think this is a great idea. Um, but I would actually, uh, in addition to physical therapists, uh, uh, trainers. Uh, I happen to uh, uh, do physical training, and I go to a physical trainer every uh, about four times a week uh, and all of my data is on pieces of paper and I think you pretty much will find that across uh, across the business so the the market might be a little bit bigger uh, and so your issue will be penetrating that market uh, the good news here I think is you're proposing a, a complete solution whereas you know some of the others have uh, products but it's it's a difficult education process. So as as you take us through your your ideas, uh, why don't you explain a little bit how the marketing aspect of this is going to work and um, and how you think you can penetrate these uh, what I think are very uh, difficult situations with uh, with these people not having really good data to do their work. Yes. Yeah, so I have thought about the whole workout market and that's actually how my name originated hustling because it doesn't really yeah, fit, doesn't the fit the PT market. But so it started out as like a gamified app for meant for people who work out gym rats and things like that. But then as it evolved and I pivoted a few times, I noticed this big hole in the PT industry and I think that's the way I should go into this industry is towards the PT industry. So the name didn't really change yet with that, but it is eventually going to change because of that. 
And so with the app, I've been working with five physical therapists so far to develop the app and the prototype because I'm a management marketing major. I don't know that much about physical therapy, but I do have the idea. So I want to pair with the people that have the expertise in the field that will have have the ability to tell me what I need to do to accomplish these goals. So I'm working with five physical therapists in the Fairfield region right now, and they've helped me with the app and the prototype. And I actually came off of a call with HSS Hospital, the hospital for special surgery in New York City the other day, and they were interested in my idea and they wanted to hear more about it. All right. Thanks for taking I, I had a couple of questions. I'm sorry, Marion, did you want to go ahead? No, go ahead, Mike. My, my question, Winston, I love the idea as well. I had some, uh, I, I want to get another understanding of, you mentioned a muscle sensor, a bone sensor. Uh, I don't understand where they go on the shirt and where, like, these are for home workouts, I'm guessing, or they're on-site workouts. I'm concerned over who has the chip, what happens if somebody throws in a washer or a dryer, and, and it's kind of like just the actual execution. And then as a follow-up, you do recognize you're going up against, I mean, Apple Watch, um, you know, Under Armour, Nike, a couple of smaller players, like not, not small, but big, smaller <laughs> players, Fitbit and Aura Rings. I want to understand how you plug yourself in there. Yeah. So first I'll address the product part of it. So in terms of washing it and things like that, the product is going to be almost all waterproof there's gonna be a core on your shirt that'll hold the muscle sensors in it. So there are two types of sensors in it. You have your muscle sensors and then you have your 3D sensors. Your 3D sensors will go in pockets on the shirt that are preset locations that are out of the way when you're working out. And the muscle sensors will actually be built into the shirt itself so you won't feel them. And the muscle sensors will be waterproof, but on the shirt, there's gonna be a core that sends all of this information to your phone, that all you do is take off and then the whole shirt will be able to just go into the wash from there. So the whole thing will be wash proof and waterproof. And in terms of competing against all of those companies, I would like to say, first of all, I'm not a, um, a apparel company or a shirt company, I'm a tech company. So I'm really going after these hospitals that use Epic, Epic systems. And I want to incorporate my system into Epic system because from there I can then incorporate the HIPAA compliant and GINA compliant documents into my app and have the therapist send them straight out into these forms. And if I can do that, then I can have access to tons and tons of offices doctor's offices because they have a huge range of networks that they're in and they're in very big hospitals. Very good. Thanks for that. Marianne, any questions? Yes. Yeah, so along those lines, um, so if you're going to be looking to incorporate this into the Epic system, um, are you looking at trying to license your product to uh, someone? And, and if so, do you have some IP? Uh, that has been protected already or, you know, share, share with us what your thoughts are and your plans there. Yeah, so eventually I will have IP that I do want to protect. It'll be software IP that I'd want to do this with. I'm looking into right now different lawyers that I can be working with to go and protect that route. So we're basically trying to get this as far along as possible right now in terms of that and protecting our intellectual property. And you're going to look to license, maybe? Oh, yes. Yes. So we want, to li we want to license our product. We don't want to sell this, manufacture this. We want to license our product, our software, our system out. Okay. We don't want to make anything in the long run. Great. Thank great. you. Thank you, Winston, for uh, joining us. Uh, well done. And we look forward to seeing you in the uh, awards round. Thank you. Fairfield Startup would like to thank our sponsors for continuing to make the annual Startup Showcase possible. Thank you. Hustlin' has presented, and it's on to the final round. Visit fairfield.edu slash startup to watch all of the 2020 Fairfield Startup Team episodes. Vote for your favorite and tune in next week to see the winner of the CT Next Connecticut Innovations Audience Favorite Award. Thanks for watching Fairfield Startup.
This has been a presentation of Fairfield University and the Dolan School of Business.